Gordon B. Hinckley was a wonderful man and a servant of God. He inspired us to be kinder and more compassionate in our daily lives. We will remember him not only as a man of God, but as a world leader. I, like most Utahns, feel like I've lost a good friend. He taught me by example, not only in his sermons, but his ability to respect all people, especially those who didn't belong to his religion. I was blessed to have numerous private meetings with President Hinckley. I was impressed with his command of detail on every subject we discussed. Once when we were discussing tax reform, he turned and looked at a painting hanging behind his desk. It was of the widow's might. He pointed to it and said, we have to remember that there are people among us of more limited means. He wasn't afraid to talk to reporters and his civility showed. He was a world leader. He had a world view, not just a church or Utah view. His words and his legacy will continue to bless and encourage all of us for generations to come. We were very fortunate as Utahns to hear one of President Hinckley's last public addresses when he rededicated the newly restored State Capitol building on January 4th of this year. May we rededicate ourselves to all the good he left us by word and example.